I ignore my shitty room. It's the first thing that's gonna go on this video. Yeah. All right. Hello. I have a new haircut now, and we're doing another video. So today, I thought I would do a video of my collection. It's a very small collection of my cassettes and everything that I have for that. Um, because I've been collecting cassettes again. Because, here's the timeline. I was started getting into collecting vinyls maybe a year or two ago, and I have like a massive amount of those. I, if I did a video on that, it would be like... <sighs> I might have to spit, split it into two, <laughs> because it would get too long. But then I was like, oh, I'm never going to collect, I'm not going to collect CDs, cassettes, I'm not going to cassette, like, anything else. Anything else I want to listen to, I'll listen to on my phone or, or my computer or my stereo. Um, and I was wrong. Because <laughs> then I started, well, well, this, this CD's like a dollar. Like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, it's Ozzy Osbourne. And I, like, love Ozzy Osbourne. Like, that's cool. You know, this is cool. Oh, Bullet in a Bible by Green Day, my favorite band. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just get that one. And then that one turned into, like, 70 cassettes and CDs. But my cassette collection has been actually quite small. All fits in here right now. I'm going to get more. So this is my current, current cassette haul. Um, because I can't really, obviously, like, I'm, I'm not vaccinated yet because I am still not back to my job, which I will be soon, so hopefully I can get vaccinated. But even then, it's still kind of, like, risky here to go out, um, to go into the, the city that's near us and to go to shops and stuff. Uh, but the, the vinyl store that I shop at is actually called Needle Drop Records. And it's a pretty small shop, so you could go into it, but their hours have changed. And now whenever I go up there, I'm always up there too. I'm always in the city too early. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I have to go back before it closes. So I was, or before it opens. So I was supposed to go today to get some stuff. Um, because it would end up having been me and only me and, like, the owner in the shop that time. But it was not to be. <laughs> I had to leave before it opened. Uh, so we've only got six, seven. The seven that I currently have in here. So I guess I should... Let me just make sure there's not one in here. My camera died. And I didn't think it was going to die that fast, but it died. Alright. Like I was saying, the cassette player that I'm using... Is a Vextra, mostly because it was the cheapest one on eBay, but also something I really like. It's got, I don't know if I'm gonna remember, oh, yes, it's got play and it kind of looks cool because it, it looks like the font on like old poker chips and like old poker commercials and stuff like that. And I really like that font. And I might paint this at some point, scratch it up and paint it, but it does what you do. Got a belt clip. Um, and didn't come with headphones, and I don't have analog headphones anymore. Not analog, but I don't have, like, corded headphones anymore, because it's kind of hard to have them now, honestly. Uh, so, I've had these headphones, they're cassette, they're called the cassette headphones, they're by Skull Candy, which is, like, my favorite headphone brand. Um, and these ones come with a jack. And I just found this again. I lost mine. Come with a jack, and in the packet where it comes with its like um, charger, it comes with a way to turn it into analog headphones. But I ended up just buying like a mail to mail receiver uh, on Amazon or eBay or one of them for like two bucks. So that works as well. So that's how I play it on here. So to get into the interesting thing, I guess we'll start with we'll start with the two that I have. I have bun two Bon Jovi ones. One is the New Jersey cassette, and the other one is Slippery One Wet, which is my favorite one because it has a lot of the hits, and I really like a lot of the hits. Um, and it's a little beat up. It's old. It's, it came old and dusty. Um, Old-ish. But it's it's really nice. It comes with all... This one came with the cover art. I really like... Like I said, I really like this album because it's got... Like, some of the songs that I've been listening to since I was, like, four. I listened to New Jersey... Not New Jersey, but I listened to... Not... I don't think Slippery One Wet, but... Um, I listened to Bon Jovi for the first time. Probably when I was, like, six. Or when I was, like, six or seven. My dad really liked them. Uh, really liked him. And I 
feel like You Gave Love a Bad Name was the first song that I heard and it has got a special place in my heart. So I saw this and I was like, I was like, I need to, I need to own. God damn it, would you? It's backwards and forwards in the camera, so I can't tell. But this is great, I really like this one. Um, the other Bon Jovi one I have uh, is New Jersey. And this has Bad Medicine on it, which I, I love. And that also has Bad Medicine on it. But it also has uh, Wild, is, <laughs> Wild is the Wind, Stick to Your Guns and I'll Be There for You, which I also like all of those songs. So I'm very, I'm very fond of, of this one as well. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna save my my favorite one for the last. Um, one thing I have is Smash by the Offsprings, uh, or Offspring. Um, I don't really like Offspring. Uh, I, for the love of God, cannot remember what that song that I really love, the song that I like off this album is called. I can look at it and tell you which one it is. It's Bad Habit. I really like Bad Habit. I bought this kind of solely for Bad Habit, but I like all the other songs on the album as well. <sighs> Every time I search it up, I end up searching. Angry Car Song by The Offspring, or by Offspring, um, because I can never fucking remember the name of this damn song, but it is very fun. Just singing, like, singing and yelling a, just a string of explicitives is, it's fun. It's pretty fun. So, we've got that one. The other two, let's do another set of two, because they're both by the doors. These two I got... Oh, uh, everything I have so far shown is gotten from eBay. You can buy a lot of stuff on there. The only problem is, like, bidding on these things is so fucking shitty because you have to you have to use shitty tactics and hope that your shitty tactics out-tactic somebody else's. Because you gotta- don't put your bid in until point zero one seconds left because somebody else would fucking outbid you faster. Like, people are ready for this. I got a bid for another thing that I was looking for that I ended up buying another one, finding another version of. <laughs> I was so upset until I found the other version. But these two, uh, the best of by the doors, um, are from another record st uh, store in Rochester, by, which is the closest city to where I live. Um, it's called the Bop shop and they have like a lot of rock. They're mostly jazz actually, but they have a lot of rock there as well and psychedelic rock subsequently. Uh, and I really picked these up because they'd been staring me in the face for about three weeks. I used to go like weekly to these two stores and then I was like, well, they're like two dollars. <laughs> well, this one was like four dollars, the other one was like five dollars. I'll pick them up and check them out. And so I picked up one, this one, and I listened to it in on the car ride back. And I was like, I love this. These are really good. Like, I like the sound of this. And <laughs> then I was like, there's another one there. It's been there for weeks. I don't think anybody else is going to get it. So I hope I can get it before somebody else gets it. <laughs> and that was this one. And then I got this one. I was very excited. They do have, like, some overlap, obviously. Because they are best ofs. But they're originals, also. They're, like, from... This one's from... This one's from... I'm sorry if I get any of this wrong. Because I could totally get some of this wrong. This one's from 1973. And... Oh god, where is it? This one is from, I think, 1985. These are from 1985. And they're really great. I really do like psychedelic rock. I like a lot of things that have like a mel like a distinguishable melody. Which is why I like a lot of melodic punk. Um, and such. Like Ignite and other bands like that. Uh, and these are really great. I think my favorite song is like, I really like Riders on the Storm. Uh, out of these, I really like Riders on the Storm and um, Hello, I Love You. And then People Are Strange, which I know a lot of people like as well. People Are Strange is uh, really cool. It's because it's just got like a fun bouncing melody <laughs> and a fun bouncing guitar part. The other thing that I, ha that I actually haven't listened to um, is another one of the first cassettes I got. and. It's a Generation X cassette, and it's like an original Generation X cassette, which I know it probably isn't actually worth that much. Not that I'm like planning to sell any of these, but it's another thing that's just like, this is kind of cool to have. Um, I have not listened to this yet, which is kind of criminal, but it looked really good, and it caught my eye, and it's also cheap. So, cheap, caught my eye, looks cool. Sort of the recipe for, for me to get things from a store. Uh, so I'm going to listen to this soon. Uh, and then maybe I'll update you, because 
it looks cool and I know a couple people who really like Generation X as well. And if I end up don't liking it, I'll just give it to them because I think I think the person I'm thinking of has has a uh, way to play it. If they don't, I will get them one as well. But we have come to the last and my favorite thing. And that is Dookie on cassette. <laughs> it's broken, which kind of sucks. Uh, so I might end up replacing the cassette thing because it just comes right off, which is kind of annoying. But, but, but there's like no cracks on this thing. I love it. It is my favorite. I believe this is not a re-release. I believe that this is an original. I have to look into it a little bit more. Usually you can tell by the packaging, like uh, looking at like an original vinyl print of, um, oh God, what's the name of the vinyl? Ugh. Looking at an original vinyl print of, of Green Day, you can tell sometimes by the coloration and by what versions have what type of coloration, whether or not it's like a re-release from which year. So I don't think that this is a re-release. I don't know if it's not. The only thing is that it also came a little bit dirty, which was kind of upsetting. This was also, by the way, from, this was also from Needle Drop. If I didn't say that already, this was from Needle Drop. This was from eBay, right. So this is the one that was basically like, I was annoyed because there was somebody else who had like, like a ton of cassettes for sale. They were all bid wars though, which sucked. Um, and there was one that was, or an original, yeah, see, it's kind of dirty. How can I show you this? There. It's kind of dirty, uh, which is fine, but they were having bid wars, and it was an original cassette with just um, basket case on it. Um, and it was Dookie, it had the original artwork, um, and they were selling it because they had, like, acquired, like, a giant lot from an old, uh, final store that was going out of business and they were selling all of them and so I really wanted that one and I waited until like 15 seconds before I put my bid in somebody waited until one second put their bid in one cent higher than me and I lost <laughs> and I was so upset and then I ended up finding this one for relatively the same amount of price and it's got all of Dookie on it so I think I still made out pretty well I, don't, I love this one. I'm very excited. I, I love pretty much everything on Basket Case. I guess, I don't know. Let me see if I can figure out what my favorite. I don't know. All of them are really good. <laughs> um, let's see. Obviously Longview is great. I really like Pulling Teeth. I also want to like look at the art for this because the art for all of them is cool. Um, but I have the re-release of Dookie on vinyl and like looking at how the fact that they fit every all of it into this is very exciting. Let me just make sure the one I'm thinking of is uh, the teeth. Pulling teeth. Yeah, pulling teeth is I think my favorite on this album. I think if I had to pick a favorite, it would end up being pulling teeth. And with that, we come to the end of my current haul of these things. I will probably end up with more. Uh, if I had to guess. So I'm just gonna, you may be wondering, why the fuck do you have these? Like, it's not like they're really convenient or anything. It's not like they're even really aesthetically cool, um, like vinyls are. And it's because I, I do this thing every once in a while, and I did it a lot more when there wasn't a major pandemic, but I go to the park to paint. There's a small park, or I live in a small town, and there's a small park in a small town. Um, <laughs> and... It's, it's, you can kind of just sit there and not be bothered by people. I mean, I get kind of bothered by people because, like, hi. I kind of look like a comic book character on top of looking like having patches that annoy people on my jackets. Um, and I don't really like to take my phone with me. So basically what I do is I take my phone and put it into like emergency contacts only mode. And so like I take my phone, I don't use my phone for anything so they don't end up scrolling for five hours and like wasting my time at the park. And I take something else with me uh, to listen to music on. And now I take this because it's compact and it's pretty easy to use. Um, plus it clips to my belt, which is kind of fun. And I kind of do like just like the way that they look. The sound on it is, is interesting. It's a different sort of sound than like your phone or even like a vinyl. Uh, they've got 
just, I don't know, just a different sound. And I enjoy, I enjoy collecting things. Uh, the only thing that makes me really happy while I put these back is just, I have a stack of music in my hand. Look at this. Like, these are songs. And I'm holding them. I don't know why that makes me so happy, but it does. And anyway, for the last shot, I will show you all of my cassettes in one hand. So, alright, thanks for listening to this random life update. Um, yeah, I'm going to think, I think that one of the next videos will probably, I don't know, I have a lot of, I DIY almost everything that I, like, wear now. Like, a lot of my clothes are other, like, just random, like, regular thrifted shirts or their DIY stuff. So I think I want to do, um, a clothing haul, like a doing a DIY, all the DIY clothes I've made, because I've been making clothes since I was in junior, no, since I was a freshman, either a freshman or a sophomore in high school, which was like, I'm one year out of high school, how long was it, that's like four years ago, some amount of years that was less than five and more than two, <laughs> and I'm with a Riddler, um, and I have a decent amount, I just don't know how to format it, because... I, like, know that the minute I finish that video, I'm gonna have a piece that I just finished, not in time for the video, that I think is really cool and that I'm gonna want to put in the video, and then I'm just, I'm just gonna keep filming updates for a video that's never going to go out. <laughs> but that'll probably be something that's coming next. Might film myself, like, making some patches, because I've had some people say that they're interested in seeing me make patches or do some of the artwork that I post on social medias. And so... I might do that. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Hope this was somewhat interesting. If you have any recommendations for bands I should check out, always love those. Um, put them down below. Thanks. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!